Moore Street, it was alive X number of years ago. I don't think it's particularly alive now. Well, my mother was here now before me. I'm home with her. It's really family, you know what I mean? It just goes on and on and on. It's up to us now to see who's going to take over and move around. But I don't know who's going to do it. It is a rundown area, and unfortunately, uh, the nature of development process is if someone is assembling a site, sometimes aspects of the site get run down. Even in the shambolic state that it is in, Moore Street is still a thriving market area. And that should be remembered, apart from the 1916 connections and its architectural merit, it's a valuable and vibrant part of Dublin street culture and life. I think about 2006, towards the end of 2006, I was approached by Joe O'Reilly to do with some uh, adverse publicity they were getting concerning their involvement in the Carlton site, uh, O'Connell Street, Moore Street. The site had largely been unused from, I believe it may be pre-97, one may argue that nothing has happened with the site oh, since 97 to 2010, but there has been some uh, planning endeavours. I suppose as Northside City Councillor, I was concerned that the main street of our capital had basically a block of real estate that had been unused if you have a block of land, a block of real estate within that retail core that isn't functioning, such as the Carlton site hasn't been for the last 13 plus years, then it takes away from the retail core. My name is Patrick Cooney and I started the campaign to save number 16 Moore Street in 2001 when I was walking by it. Uh, what I knew to be the last headquarters of the rebel forces and I realised the plaque that had been up there since I was a child had been removed. I wondered why it had been removed and so I got in contact with the National Graves Association and they found out that it had been removed by a developer who intended to demolish the entire terrace. That's how the campaign started. The area where we will be going to would be recognisable to the men and women of 1916. It is the last piece of Dublin that is recognisably 1916 territory. Moore Street. Uh, Jim Connolly Heron, great grandson of James Connolly's. We consider Moore Street, the Moore Street Terrace, along with the GPO, to be the birthplace of the Republic. It's where the GPO garrison ended up in 1916. This shows the area of the what's known as the Carlton site, uh, including the in red the National Monument at 14 to 17 Moore Street. So the route of evacuation from the GPO took the form of the route was from the side door of General Post Office into Henry Place around the corner where the volunteers came under fire here at the mouth of Henry Place and Moore Lane, then on into the next section, which is, this is uh, Moore Street itself, and a decision was taken to enter the buildings at number 10, and the volunteers burrowed their way up the entire terrace. Behind me is the back of O'Connell Street. We're heading into an area which, if the campaign fails and the developer gets his way, this entire area will be flattened. So we are effectively, we could be, uh, amongst the last people walking this battlefield site that is Moore Street. Behind me and behind this advertising hoarding is the outline of a door, it's the door into Cogan's provisions and it's the entrance into the Moore Street Terrace through which the garrison retreated and tunnelled through the entire terrace. The entire terrace became the last headquarters of the GPO garrison and that's why we argue that the entire site should be treated as a battlefield site. The plan is to demolish almost the entire terrace, 
other than 14 to 17 which were designated a national monument uh, by Minister Dick Roach. But apart from that, the, the entire Carton site, as it's known, will be demolished to make way for a retail apartment type development. You can see the National Monument here, 14 to 17, completely diminished by the surrounding, proposed surrounding uh, shopping, retail, apartments, etc. centre. That's what's, what was originally planned for the area. The, a complete devastation of, of uh, what many consider to be the heart and soul of Dublin City. These people weren't concerned when it was a rundown shop all of a sudden when Chartered Land and Joe Riley show an interest in it, you know, they suddenly discover their, you know, so you have to be, sorry, I come from a business background, that's what I have. You have to ask yourself also, and this is a harsh comment, how relevant is 1916 to the Facebook generation? I would argue it doesn't come in the horizon period. For the regeneration of the area, it's, it's, it's the way it's to be regenerated that we argue. We argue that you have the basis here for a cultural historic quarter which will be a magnet for tourists from all over the world. The area should be looked upon as a battlefield site and accorded the same sort of status as the Battle of the Boyne site. The state have, paid, have spent millions on developing the Battle of the Boyne, which in fact signals, you could say, the end of the nation, whereas this area we consider signals signals the birth of the nation. What I want is a successful city centre. What I don't want is people uh, achieving their grand stances on various issues and the street being empty and the city centre not fulfilling its function. Of course, Moore Street isn't just about 1916. It's the last street market left on Dublin's north side and it leads into the northern Georgian core, two of the finest Georgian squares in Dublin, Parnell Square and Mount Joy Square. It's a thriving street market. It has many cultural and social traditions which will also be swept away. And it's entirely acceptable, even if you're not interested in the 1916 connection, you should be interested in the fact that another part of our city will be swept away without any debate or any alternative plan. Accepting that we do have to protect our heritage, the most important thing nowadays is, the most important issue nowadays is unemployment. And how do we make sure there's jobs for people where they can access those jobs. Even if you reduce it to a commercial argument, it's much more likely to be, uh, you know, uh, something to be to be presented uh, for visitors to to visitors that visit Dublin than a mere shopping centre, because shopping centres can be found all over the world. So this is a historic area. It's a battlefield site, and. Brian Lenehan at the Bail the Blah speech in 2010 in Cork said that Bail the Blah was a sacred site. And I agree with him, but I think Moore Street is also a sacred site. And that's why I wonder in 2016 when we invite world leaders to come to Dublin to celebrate our 100th birthday, will we be leading them through a shopping centre with toilet signs on the shops to a pile of red bricks, which used to be our national monument, the birthplace of the Irish Republic.